we're here with day three. Uh, we didn't hit like any appointments yesterday because we were really having so much fun and met so many cool people. Uh, so today we're gonna be rapid fire, hitting as many boots as possible. Watch that not happen because I meet another cool person. <laughs> uh, but let's go, yay! I was just walking by and found this monogram booth and when I was in middle school and high school, I got into Warriors Cats and I still love them a lot. Uh, I haven't read all the books. I read all of the ones back then. Um, but look, my goat. Yellow Fang was my favorite character by far. You've also got Spotted Leaf, obviously. But aren't these cool? You never really see Warriors merch. There was some a few years ago, but these are really nice, actually. Uh, they're very, very cute. They're, they're figures, but they seem to be made out of like a rubber material. Aren't they so cute? So if any of you guys had this face, who's your favorite character? This one was so sad. Her, her story, I won't say anything. And no Yellow Fang, what they did to Yellow Fang like ruined my life. You, when we, when me and Brett were in middle school, in a eighth grade, I think, when we had social studies together, I was reading, he, he, he sat across the classroom and I was reading when um, what happened to Yellow Fang happened and I was like bawling. Like, do you remember that? No, you don't? <laughs> um, and Firestar is like the main character of the original stuff and you've got, like, these are so cool. These rock. I want these. I don't know all these characters either. Like, I mean, I haven't read it in a while to be fair, but I feel like some of these are pretty new. And of course they've got Scourge. Gotta have them. And then you've got some more just things around. Of course, Ultraman. I've been surprised at how much Ultraman stuff we've been seeing. And look at the Disney pens. They're like really nice. The Tion is fantastic. And you got like Tinkerbell, all kinds of stuff. So this company is called Monogram and I've never heard of them before, but they've got a lot of cool stuff. Here's more stuff from Monogram and look what I see. More Mothra merch, absolutely. Oh, there's Sanrio too. Look at all the Sanrio. Those are great. Ultraman is mentioned. The chainsaw, oh, Pochita. Yeah, Ultraman is all over the place. I'm very surprised. And we've got a Cheshire Cat. I super like the Godzilla ones. Oh, is that Kong back there too? Kind of off model, but cute. And Sonic, Brett, Brett approves of the Sonic, at least somewhat. <laughs> oh, and Disney Princesses. I like the designs of these ones better. These ones aren't doing it as much for me, but they are cute. Very interesting. So these are from that same monogram company. We just found a whole nother booth of theirs. So that's cool. If you remember really Smensels, you it. might remember Smillos. Oh, you don't remember Smillos? What about Smelly Balls? All right. What about the Smarkers or the Smens? I think Smens were a thing. I think those, they tried that when I was a kid. Smillos is killing me. <laughs> and Smelly Balls. Sure. I like it. Cool. Kidcraft. This I gotta see. I like, come on. I want to see the dollhouses. I need someone to do the Men in Black memory eraser thing to me because this is gonna be a problem. Look at the Mermaid Kingdom. Oh my god. Which one do you like? I like this Mermaid Chihuahua or Fennec maybe. Who's this? That's like a Fennec or a Chihuahua. Who's your favorite? Oh, Manta Ray. They're so silly. Why are there, are these like little ninja guys? What are y'all doing here? It's Halloween, I bet. This fantasy theme is amazing. And look back here with all this like, oh my God. They're amazing. I love the little castle. And look at this setup. This is so for children. Like, it wants me to sit like. I didn't think I could pick that thing up. All right, we're here at Epic to see the Calico Critters and look at this. Oh my God. So we've got this koala family and this bunny family. I think these are Fenix. I keep trying to call them Chihuahuas though. We've got kitties. Oh my goodness. Whoa, huskies. Oh, there's a lot of them. And then the lambs. Little uh, golden doodles, maybe? I don't know. Oh, um, look at the penguins. These little cheeks. These are the best. Look at the cute little bucket with the baby in it. That's so silly. And some golden retrievers. And bunnies. These are like your classic calico pretty family right here. That's what you know. And then there are more koalas, some pandas. Are these otters? Look at the little fish swings, baby. So sweet. 
And then down here, we've got, I think they're either porcupines or hedgehogs. I'm going porcupine. Porcupine. And then your Scottish folds, your deer, the mice with the heart shaped ears. Bunnies. Oh my god. Oh, the really fluffy cats. They have like more. Super cute. And look, look, look. Giraffes. Oh, the goat's glasses. There you go, baby. I really like the little glasses. Oh my god. And this family. That's Brett's favorite, he says. Still? And then you've got this big one with this little game. What are your what are you? What's your tail? Oh, it's a mouse. Look at the little tail. And it says, guess how many? So we'll try if we can. Super cool. And right here, they have this amazing city setup. Got a shark sighting at the bridge, bro. What's going on? So check this out. That place, that's the one. That is amazing. It's incredible. Just gonna walk you through. I don't even, I would not be able to get even half of this, but like, I mean, cover half of it. Cause look at all the little details. The little dolphin floaty. And the fountain they're all playing at. The flamingo, oh my God. I like the speed limit signs and stuff. Oh, I wish I could. I wonder what happens there. Imagine getting to set this part up. This tail. See, and then there's some with hair. So that one looks like a horse, so it's sensible, but then that's a cat. Uh, but look at this. So I've seen these sets coming out of Japan that are like um, more dull than just little creature figure. And they're so cute. So gorgeous. But I like I like how down to earth a lot of them are. Oh my God, look at the wigs. They're buying a house. Oh my God, they're buying a house. There's a red panda back there. Yes. Super cute. Oh no, this one fell. There you go, squirrel. Oh, look, look, look. Little shrimp. So cool. Love it, love it. I could sit here and tour this for like six hours straight, I think, and I wouldn't get every detail. Like, this is incredible. I'm going with this being my favorite calico critter set I've ever seen in my life. And you guys know I have one, and it's like this Cloud Kingdom amazing one. But look at this. The water and the whimsy and the flowers. It's just amazing. I want this one. Because these are so good for other toys this size too. I love calico critters. I'm just trying my best to avoid them for a minute. Because, I, you know, there's just a lot to get into here. And they're just so amazing. So amazing, but look how absolutely amazing these sets are. And I know some of you guys collect them. Which ones are your favorite ones? I think like the seal family. Oh my God, they're so cute. And of course I love the black cats. Always love the black cats. I think that the porcupines are really awesome too. But it, the black cats always catch my eye. I'm always really excited to see them. And that seal family is so unusual, so I really like them. What's your favorite family? I like the penguins. You like those penguins? Are they here at all? Not many out, but there's one. There's one over here. Yeah, I really liked them. Oh my god, wait. Little family. Oh my god. You like the Phoenix too, oh, huh? Another so cute. Look at this little shrimp costume. Yeah, I didn't even see this little car washing set. There's just so much going on. And truly, like, this is quite a few sets, you know, especially of the, the figures. But in terms of, like, the actual furniture sets, this truly isn't that many, right? Because you see, like, one, two, three, of course you got your cars, so it's five. Maybe like 20 sets here to make like this grand of a display. It's just because they come with so much cool detail and so many amazing accessories. Just such a cool toy. Over here, we've got, this says this is the new and noteworthy section. So these are ones either out now or coming soon. Look at them. I love this burger. And look at the bread. These are like little nature costumes, maybe for a play or something. Oh, they're amazing. Look at the bus. They're stargazing. Stop it. That's so like cute. So it looks like a lot of these new sets are focusing on the kids. Like, it seems like the babies and the kids. I, I like the babies. This is my favorite set. How cool is that? I can't wait to see the other side of it when we go to the other side of that display over there. Um, but look, like this triple decker bunk bed, and you can take it apart and not have it be a bunk bed if you want. Yeah, the Halloween sets always are, like, super popular. 
Look at the bathroom. Yeah, oh, they must be new then. Look at the bathroom. Or I guess it says new and noteworthy. This set. It's, I have so many doll and toy kitchen sets and just every time I'm like, I need more. Little foods, it's just so good. And look at the lot bunnies, I think that's what they are. Do you like her little outfit? And the smells. So sweet. And here's some of the release dates. New means they're probably out now and fall. And if it says a date, that's when they should be hitting shelves. At least in some region, I assume that's the US date. The nursery, that's my favorite is the, so it's not out yet, but the forest falls, that's the best one I think. And here's more of that newer product lineup. Look at the, the breakfast play set. You got a toaster and a blender, kitchen island. So I'm used to like these sorts of sets, but I didn't know they would have like smaller expansion sets too. Just, oh, there's the penguin family, honey. Look at them. See, they, and like some of these family sets will come with like the accessories so you can flush out your world. They were reindeers, okay, I wasn't sure. Look, this princess dress. You like the mice? Marshmallow mouse. You like those ones? Persian, yeah. Chocolate rabbit. I love these. You like the triplets? Well, I like the so I like the crawling build, like that. Fandom. I actually only really like the adult ones. I'm not really into the kid and baby ones. All right, we've made it to the other side. We got to have a lovely chat with the Sylvanian team, not the Calico Critters team, so that was really cool. <laughs> um, look at all of these amazing critters. Brett, the waffle maker? Or is that a panini press? Authentic family dinner, you can tell how messy it is. I love that. Look at the TV. I have a Calico Critters, um, fish tank that I found at a thrift store and it's like one of the greatest things I've ever seen. Oh. So this is that big house that we saw. I like how the stairs are like outside of it and then there's, I guess this is a ladder? <laughs> yeah, be careful. Oh, there's a slide. That's what they're doing. They've got an abacus up here. And then birthday party happening. They already bought the house and they didn't take the sign down yet. I think it's implying they are selling the house maybe? I don't know, but they're, yeah, because I thought the balloons were like I housewarming. Thought I thought it was a housewarming of some sort. Oh my God. The kangaroo statue, or is that a rabbit? That's a rabbit. Oh, these are making the- The 5K. Yeah, for the race, the signs they wear. There's the penguin wearing a little face mask. Oh, this is a little spa here. I love the ones with hair, it's so silly. Oh, his, his little headband and stuff too. Absolutely adorable. Bike? Yeah. Is this like, it's actual sand. The bridge is just incredible. Yeah, look up here too. The mouse. That's a good father. I wish I lived in a bustling community like this. Hi! We continue. I love the speed limit signs and look on the backs. And this was the pickup by the way. I don't know if I pointed that out. But like, is this not the sweetest thing? I love, and this is all just imaginative play. Like, these are all just little pieces of paper they printed out, right? Also, Brett, your favorite. Houndstooth. <laughs> this one's cheating, right? Like, this doesn't count. You can't be on a vehicle. This one's gonna, here we go. Oh no, this broken foot. Oh, the, the crown. <laughs> they put the crown. Okay, we get to see the back of the greatest place set. Yeah, so I saw this on the packaging and I was curious. I think they glued it in, but there's like a crown in there. Yeah, this is the this is the place set. Oh, what are you doing back here? Are they doing a Romeo and Juliet thing? Darling. Darling. Yeah, I'm gonna need these seal ones. I'm gonna need to. This is bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. But like I've heard from the Sylvanian collectors that the Japanese ones are like top notch. Look, she's handing out the medals at the end. Wait, it's an inside job. Great. <laughs> no way, penguins like shuffle. Oh look, the kids are right behind. So sweet, the cutest little Hi thing. Hi guys, so we are here with Kid Hits International and I came by because you guys were telling me about these Bee Fashion Academy dolls and they have them here in package and out of package. 
And the gimmick with these is that they come with a dress that you get to design as well as the doll herself with her outfit. So of course, B Fashion Academy, they're learning how to be designers and so can you, as you can see. So they come with little accessories, like this one comes with stickers and you get the fabric and you just get to create your own dress for this one. And there's different things for each one. Like this one seems to have beads and here's the dolls. I really like the green hair on this one. This cat accessory is so cute on this one. So she's got this cat theme and her DIY dress is awesome. Look at her. And then down here, we've got Kara, it seems. And then over here. So these dolls, by the way, have been kind of they're for Europe, it seems like. They were made for Europe, and they're trying to see if they're coming to the U.S. with uh, Toy Fair. And then this line is called Emily Grace, so they're newer than these, I believe. I think these are, because they don't have all the samples even yet. And these really impressed me, because check out the dresses. I think the faces on the dolls are very, very beautiful, but both of these lines suffer from not having any diversity, right? Um, but the, the dresses and the designs are really, really beautiful, so I hope that they improve on that. But check out that dress like they're not the highest quality in every way but i believe these are meant to be a lower budget doll we don't know what the price point is going to be yet because we need to see if they come to the u.s for that to be determined but just look at them these dresses are incredible but this is one of my favorites and notice that articulation too so you get like a really good doll body on these and they come with stands it seems like which is also very cool so look at that amazing that dress gorgeous and she comes with a bike so there's ones that come with bikes they don't have the package oh i kicked it a little <laughs> um the ones that have the bikes the packaged ones are not on display here all right i'm gonna let that lean back for now i'll fix it in a second this one just has such a beautiful dress and they said the idea behind these is that they wanted to have that princess look but make it a little more modern and i think they really did a good job here it's kind of like how descendants wanted to have like that really modern and edgy look but still have like a princess vibe to it but this is a bit on the other end where it's still very girly and fun but it's modern and this one especially is so cute to me because it's got that super like i almost i don't know rococo look to the top here and then this is so modern then it really works like i think the designs are fantastic on these and this one probably my actual favorite here because the color of the dress is just so pretty and i love her brown hair they do have polypropylene hair it's pretty well done it's just that they've been jostled around quite a bit um, at the show you can see and the purses like all the accessories are really good and then this one beautiful color on that dress another brown haired one gorgeous so these are emily grace and b fashion academy from kid hits international so maybe we'll see these hit the u.s who knows Hi guys, so we are here with Kid Crab. So I have shown, remember when we went to the American Girl Dollhouse where we saw that big crazy dollhouse that I would die for? That was Kid Craft. And I've known of this company for a long time because they do the big cool dollhouses, but as you guys know, I never had room for dollhouses. And now I have like 12 dollhouses. So, you know, we have room now. We don't, but we make room. Uh, but they have a bunch of really cool products to share. So this one here is not available in the US yet, but I know a lot of you guys are in Europe. It's currently in Europe. It will be in the US in spring of 2024. What was the price point on this one? $69.99 is the price point on this one. And look at these fun features. So this one is definitely meant for a younger demographic than a lot of their other ones, but look how sweet, like this is your pool. And of course it's very basic, but okay. That's like the building thing. Don't worry about it. But like, it's a koi pond too. It's so sweet. And the front, and they told me all the furniture is recycled plastic specifically, and it's all made to be sustainable. That's why it's all wood. And they're actually the number one um, dollhouse company in general, or wooden dollhouse company. That's really cool. I did not actually know that. I would assume that though, honestly. So you hear a lot about them. I'm like, look at all these sweet things. I don't know if that goes inside or if that's decoration, but it's very, very cute. And then over here, I was so, cute. look at this. A little outside bench and as a kid did any of you have this or just in general do you have this where like you keep all your like water guns and stuff in here what kind of foul bugs did you find in here were they alive or dead i need to know because ours were the big red wasps and they were only 50 percent of the time they were dead so it was pretty scary we never played with those for the reason okay anyway that's not relevant cute fences i just this is so so sweet and it's so easy to play with so if any of you guys collect dolls at this scale or like um i think those 112th BJDs would fit really well in here. And I like the 
pretty neutral stuff on the walls. Like I feel like overall any room could be any room here and you don't have a lot of, I don't know, like a lamp and a plant is totally fine to me. And then up here, everything actually fits inside. Yeah, and <laughs> there's really cute windows and stuff, on, which I love that. And everything can be put inside of here. I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna ruin the display, um, but everything can be stored inside. And then also up here, and you can, well, you can get these off to play in here and have this be an extra room, but also carry it away. So this is just so, so sweet. I really like this one. Uh, but you know, most, mostly we collected the 1-6 scale. This is more 112, but this is great. 112 scale is really hard with dollhouses. If you, if you collect them, you know, because it's usually like Sylvanian families are too small, but it's close. So sometimes you use, um, that's what most Nendoroid people will use. And like remints are a little too small, stuff like that. Yeah, so this is very cool. I like this one a lot, but this is gonna be more relevant to you guys. So this big old house. Um, but we've got an attic up here. So in a lot of these dollhouses, in order to preserve height, they'll have a room up here that's either for storage or it's meant to be a nursery in this case because, you know, the kid dolls can fit up here, but not necessarily the adult ones. Uh, not my favorite design thing, but I think for play, it's really good. And for actually fitting it in your home, it's really good. And I just love this like semi-open concept. Like all of the doors are like open and this is really nice. So this one does have a lot of printed details on the walls, but I really like the design of all of the printed details. And if you had big furniture, you could. 139. 139. So this one retails for $139.99 and it's got all these laser cut furniture pieces, which I assume these are polarizing, but to me this kind of makes it look like, um, what is it called? Like furniture glaze, whatever that weird paint they use. That's what it looks like to me. And it's so sweet. And I just like laser cut stuff. I think it looks cool. And you see this one comes with a lot. Oh, the mattress is soft. It's got a soft mattress. It's got an actual little canopy here. I love the chairs and it's very simple. Does this open? It looks like it must open, right? I don't know. I don't think it does, but it's just, it's very simple, but it's very, very cute. And the details that it does have, like this little faucet and stuff are just so cute. And this one, unlike the other house is definitely like, this is the kitchen, right? Unless you were to paint the walls. But this one was very impressive to me because of this cool staircase. And I was talking about this yesterday where like, well, it's the same video for you, but uh, I hate when the staircase is super imposing and just like blocks everything. It's just a waste of real estate. So I love that this one is like a huge feature and it looks so nice. And I feel like it would be so fun to play with them like moving two different directions. And I also love that there's like a secret room back here. Like, you know, laundry, I don't know how much I'm gonna be playing laundry. I don't like doing laundry. So it's just cute that like, yes, it's in the house, but it's not part of it. And I just love that design. I've, I've never seen one with this middle staircase like this. I think that's so cute. We have a non-flushing toilet, but stay tuned. But I like that this is really smart, the way it's combined like that. And you've got your bathtub and the rug. Super soft and cute. I guess that's a cake? I don't know, but it's fun. I like it. The dining room is great. I love the dining room. And I should have brought my doll today. Once again, I didn't, but this is perfect size for one six scale dolls. You know I know how big they are, so they're about that big. Um, so you get a good amount of clearance between the head and the um, ceiling, which I love because a lot of dollhouses, they're scraping their heads on the ceiling. And if you have like different shoes or different hairstyles, not going to work. All right. So this is the champion house. This one, I can imagine being very popular because it comes with a whole stable situation. And I love that it's not just like a random weird little garage that they kind of thought of, like they have last second shoved in there and it could be a garage. It could be a barn. This is actually like a two-story barn, and I love that it's like kind of leads into the house as a kitty. The kitty's face is so cute. Look, it's so silly. Kind of looks like your cat whiskers in her eyes. <laughs> and you see the horses. So all of these accessories that you're seeing in this house actually do come with it. And this is just so sweet. I remember one of my friends has a, as a kid had like one of the, like a doll barn. I think it was Briar. So nice, and this just reminds me of it. Not not the same, right? Because it has a lot of details and stuff that the Briar one didn't. The Briar one was all just like cut wood but like this is so cute is there a little hay bale yeah it's hay <laughs> a little hay bale. it's just a block it's so cute Fresh look at the heart spot this is so fun and then over here we've got and again we've got the printed details on the walls you know i prefer when there's not printed detail but this is really really fun and my favorite feature actually i love the built-ins like <laughs> in a real house too if there's a built-in feature no matter how much the house has other issues i will pick that house I did that with my current house and my last house. I just love built-ins. I think they're so fun. And see, this one has a built-in little bar. I wish they would do this more. I hope that they do, because this is really, really cool. And I love this stuff on the walls. And this is so, so sweet. And this one has a lot of electronic features. Check it out. Let the steam out. Ah, so fun. And you can see that has a little doll hand hold there. 
And I love all the different like exits and entrances. This especially, I feel like you could actually use as a garage here because doll cars generally aren't that big. I feel like the Rainbow High car wouldn't fit in here. Some Barbie cars would fit, but not all. If you've got like any of the like Jeeps, they would probably fit, just depends. I don't have one with me, so I can't guarantee it. Oh. What? A mouse. A mousey. <laughs> and then up here. So you have a working elevator, by the way. I don't know how it works. Oh, okay. You just push it. Simple slide. And I like this because then look, you've got like a balcony with a grill. That's great. And you've got a laundry room in this one, so it's not hidden. It's a real laundry room here, but you could, you know, hide that if you wanted to. Oh, look at the little iron and the little ironing board. So, so sweet. You know, a lot of dolls come with wrinkly clothes. All right. You know, we have a flushing toilet count. Flushing toilet number five, I think, brought to you by Kidcraft. Love it. And this bathroom design, I love. It's very cute, very, very cute. And then that leads to the second story here. Moving up, I was like, this better move. If this doesn't move, I'm taking a lot of points off. It does, <laughs> it had to. Yeah. All right, so then this is our like main living room area. This design is so gorgeous. Also love the minimally invasive stairs and you also get like the more invasive stairs as like a design feature right there. But that's so nice, like this is really nice. They need to do more of this. Like I don't need a realistic staircase unless it's like a really cool part of the, like, uh, the house feature. Anyway. Love this couch. Oh, no, this is just a kid craft thing. Oh, I love the sock and a bunch of goldfish, just like my couch. Can you see back there? No, you're good. Can you stop it then? There's a bunch of goldfish under the seat, just like my couch. <laughs> just kidding, haha. -ha. Anyway, and then over here, this is the opening that lets the elevator in. But I also love all the different openings there are because it lets a lot of light in. Like, if you've noticed any film with my face in it, like, go ahead, look, foul lighting in here. <laughs> because the overhead lighting is just rough. So this, like, you see how much light is actually being let in and they don't have special lights installed here. So that's very nice. Up here, whoever lives in this room, oh my God, look at this. And you know this is the kids' room. Like, you know that's what this is. Um, look at the bed. It's got an actual, oh, it's got an actual little pillow. It's soft. It's got a blanket. They're a little bit more basic, but you know, like you, if you have doll furniture, you can use yours. But if you don't, you have this option. So I think that's really nice. And you've got the lamp which is very cute. I really like the design of those, actually. I love the grandfather clock because it doesn't match with anything else in here, but I love it. And got either a corgi or a shy. What do you think? Uh, it might actually be a corgi. I'm not sure. I love a corgi. They're so cute. And the rainbow out the window, just really fun. Really, really fun. And the balcony. I want a balcony. Someday I'll have one. Now let's look at the... Yeah, this is so, it's so nice. See, if you get two of them... I'm kidding. <laughs> but this is super cool. Are the lights part of it? Yeah. No, no that's not something y'all put there? No. It's Whoa, it. okay, yeah, wait. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I just figured that was y'all doing it for fun. No. Oh my gosh. It also has lights. That's so cute. Okay, so uh, this one kind of rocks. This is great. So that was Kid Craft. They've got a lot of secret stuff, but we're not allowed back there. We're not cool enough, but yeah, hope you enjoyed seeing these. They have a lot of other really cool products out there. So um, if you're ever in the market for dollhouses, especially wooden ones, they're kind of the place to go. They've got a lot of great stuff. You guys, I'm here with Crayola and my jaw dropped. I saw this at the end of the tour. We just went along this whole wall and oh my God. These are the LOL Surprise Crayola Color Me Studio. Look at this. I had no idea about this. So these launch quarter two, 2024? January. January, so quarter one, 2024. So really soon actually. And look at this. They come with a fashion that you can color, but also like a regular fashion it looks like. And just look at this. It's amazing. They come with crayons and they look to be really nice colors. Like you see a teal there. How amazing. And look how cute she is. Amazing. These are the coolest. And I can't wait to see the rest of the designs because definitely like, Definitely these designs are gonna be like really, really cool. You know, LOL, they're always gonna have amazing designs. This is just so clever. And I'm loving, we saw the Hello Kitty stuff earlier and now we're seeing this. This is so exciting. Over here, we've got the Crayola Imagipals. These launch next year as well. And they are these blind package little erasers. And you know, like, I don't know if this is a thing for you guys, but when I was younger, the puzzle erasers were everywhere. And I always wanted all these erasers and I never used them as erasers. There was no reason for them to be erasers, but it's just so satisfying something about it like this amazing penguin eraser. And they come with this little, the surprise ball turns into like some sort of terrarium. It comes with stickers. See, it's a little activity set. Is this not the cutest thing? I love that. And then as we move up, you can see um, scented sand. Super fun. 
here we have, this is a gallery set, so it kind of can connect to your devices and do some fun stuff. This is a really, really cool concept. And this, I'm loving this license stuff. So these are Playmobil Crayola collab stuff. So you see this one's a designer set. This one you get to design a dirt bike or a motorcycle. Another designer with a dress. There you can see kind of how it went. So it looks like they're using the markers. And they're also using stickers. You've got a race car and a super cool another designer set. These are very cool. I'm very shocked by these. And isn't this cute? Alrighty. And then here we have a bunch of awesome stuff. Like you can see the Pokemon set, of course, and all kinds of super, super fun stuff. I really am partial to this sort of thing. But I'm over here because I wanted to show you the Scribble Scrubby stuff. Sasquatch one. There's a Sasquatch one. Oh, Ayana, that's one of my favorite names. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. These are awesome. So this is just like a birthday set. This, your pet salon set. Look at this. It's a corgi, I think. I guess it could be whatever you want. And you've got the pet grooming truck. Oh my God, and the safari. I just love Scribble Scrubbies. I find them so cute. There's a sea turtle one. I never could find this one. So, ooh, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, you've got the snake this is so so cute and of course crayola's got si silly putty too i love model magic the air dry clay the big model magic oh and these are super cool the chalk sets these are like these circular chalks so you get all these different um ways to use it and i think that's really fun and then over here more scribble scrubby because it's the best it is the best and this is new check him out it's a jumbo one. I cannot wait to see if they do more of these because, oh man, this looks fun. Because the thing with these that can be a little limiting is that the markers are quite thick compared to the Scribble Scrubby. So um, sometimes the capillary action will cause problems when you're trying to color, especially do like designs like this. But on this one, that wouldn't be as much of an issue. So I am very curious about this one. I like him a lot. And then, okay, this, this, a snail, a seahorse. I think this is probably a cuttlefish and an anglerfish in one set. And the idea is that these ones glow in the dark, which explains a lot with the cuttlefish and the anglerfish. But like, look at that. Look at that. And these are in stores now. These are in stores now. No. Okay, this is next year. Sorry, I'm wrong. <laughs> and then this one is in stores now. So I'm gonna have to be hunting for this one because oh my God. So let me know who your favorite is and why it is the anglerfish. I'll accept the snail as an answer though, I will. It's so, so, so sweet. Oh, the artwork too. Oh yeah, and then there's an app that all these connect to too, which is super cool. Um, love it, love it. Always love seeing, hearing from Crayola. Also like, they their booth is so cool this year. Or I've never been to Toy Fair, it's probably cool every year, but like I can't show you everything because there's like a secret room right here, but like they have this amazing big screen, like aliens, so cool. And that's I'm back at Bondi, I can't stay. <laughs> I love them and we just met another fantastic rep and okay we specifically were like we're so sad that there's no cat returns or whisper the hard stuff well, guess what we missed yesterday Muta there was a if you don't know what I'm talking about I'm so sorry but if you like Ghibli movies and you haven't seen either of those movies yet then hurry up figure it out but they also have a lot of amazing other merch too like yeah this is I bet that's one of the more popular ones and of course No Face and Gigi and you know all of them are great but if you guys don't know, I don't show him a lot, but he's in the background of some videos. My cat, that's Ronaldo Moon. We named him after this stinker. So yeah, if you're, it's like official X Canadensis merch. So there you go. <laughs> if you can even find it, I swear we can never find Cat Returns merch because it sells so fast because they never make it. Well, this is this is Whisper the Heart, but you know, spiritually. But like, is it so cute? Hi guys, so I'm over here with Tasty Peach Studios and I've seen this brand before at conventions and at um, different like anime type stores, they'll stock them there. And I actually didn't know this, but they have licensed plushies. So we're gonna go check those out if we can, if that booth is open for us. Um, but check out what they've brought over here. So this is my favorite one. This is the one that caught my eye. Like, are you kidding? So beautiful. It's Triceratops and we've got dragons, I think, or some kind of other dinosaur. I should know that, right? <laughs> and then, You've got your T-Rex, look how cute these are. I love, oh, look at me. So, so sweet. And then moving to the other side, check them out. We've got the shirt, or these are like jackets, these are nice. And look how sweet, the little bags. And of course the seals, these are great. These are great. Oh, the Eda bags, I just noticed that. Those rule. Oh wow, love that. And of course your narwhals, these are the 
classic. These are what you're always gonna see, and so, so cute. But I love seeing all these other ones too, like, I think yeah. my favorite is probably that Triceratops. That is so amazing. What's your favorite? No, today. What is it? No, just in general. You like the shark? Okay, let's go. Let's go. This one. <laughs> All right, so we are here with Great Eastern Entertainment, and as you can see, they brought me a special gift because I mentioned that I was so interested in their Sonic stuff, which they did not bring today. But how cute is this? And Brett has another one, but you guys won't get to see it. Um, but they brought Figure Key to this show, and I didn't know anything about these. I kind of just assumed they were keychains because it said Figure Key, but I, my mind was blown when we got up here. So these are posable, like plush, with. I don't even know how to describe this. They're so cool. They're basically dolls. So, hey. Look at this, they're articulated. And it doesn't feel like just there's a wire in there. It feels like actual, an armature under there. It is so interesting. So I have not seen Spy Family, but Brett has and he really likes it. So this is Anya from Spy Family. Uh, so are And she actually goes elsewhere, so. But I just wanted to show you. So these larger ones retail for $29.99, which I think is honestly for what they are, like it's pretty good compared to other like comparable products. And like they have a like hard head, but they're not super heavy and they can actually balance on their own really nicely. Uh, it might be difficult to do it at the show on this this particular shelf, but he showed me, yeah, there you go. And he said they can even balance on one leg if you really try hard enough. Let me hide her over here for a bit, and I'll show you through these other ones. A lot of these are properties I'm not super familiar with, but I'm sure some of you guys will be. And let me know if you see one that's like one that you really enjoy. So of course we've got One Piece, which I got the most impassioned sales pitch on One Piece from someone totally unrelated to One Piece uh, yesterday. So we're gonna have to check it out. So we've got two Luffy's. We've got Jujutsu Kaisen. I've also never seen that. Um, and this one makes me sound like I've never watched any anime, but it's just the new stuff. Oh, Fruits Basket. Okay. I also haven't seen that, but I know of it. <laughs> we've got more Fruits Basket, more Spy Family. Oh, this is a different outfit. And we've got more Fruits Basket, more Fruits Basket. And I know that's very popular. I'm sure a lot of you guys like Fruits Basket. Um, and Jujutsu Kaisen again. Death Note. Oh, I thought this was L from afar. Okay. We've got Death Note, which I have seen. And we've got Light and L. And these are just so fun. This is such a fun take on a collectible figure, but making it have this plush aspect and have it be posable is just really unique and fun. And I like that even though they have the kind of, you know what you see on some of these collectible figures where you see that they have um, kind of a general look that all of them have. But I really like these. I think they look different enough because the eyes are not the focal point. And I think that's super cool. So Spy Family, Hunter Hunter. It's called Hunter Hunter, right? You don't say Hunter X Hunter? Yeah. Um, more... Jujutsu Kaisen must be popular because here's more. Yeah, alrighty. And then over here. Huh? Because there's more. Maybe these are the same characters. I don't know. But here's more of them over here. And you see another one here. And see, they sit really well too. These are just really good for display. I really like these. And again, compared to comparable ones, you know what I'm talking about, but I'm not gonna be mean about other brands while we're here. Comparable types of collectibles, you get it? Um, these are fantastic. These are really, really cool. And the price point is overall fairly similar. By the way, on these smaller ones, like these, these are $19.99. I don't believe I said that earlier. Everybody's got it. Oh, my hero. So there are different ones over here. So just, they're kind of spread around. So Yu Yu Hakusho, I've heard of that. Oh, that's what was over there too. Um, and then we got my hero. So I would hope there's more characters than Ojapo. But, oh, and Haikyuu right here. And yeah, as you can see, I'm so sorry. <laughs> There's like, there's a lot of really cool licenses. I'm sure they're gonna continue to expand. I'm really excited to see where these go. These are shipping right now, so you'll start to see them going into quarter four, which is now, sorry, I'm using the, I'm at the toy show, I'm using the toy terms. <laughs> um, and these are really cool. So you'll be able to find them at your favorite hobby retailer. So stores like Hot Topic, Box Lunch, that type of store, you'll probably find them there. Or if you don't, might as well ask them about it. And these are great. These are really, really great. I like seeing um, collectibles of anime stuff in the US that are really, really fun. And if you don't know of Great Eastern Entertainment, they make um, a lot of Sonic merchandise. That's why they brought us these, because when we emailed, I was thinking they were gonna bring Sonic stuff, so I asked them about it. And they were like, we're not, but they brought me this special surprise. It's so sweet. Um, but they make these Sonic plushies. And what's like, what's your favorite character that they've done? Emerald. Huh? Emerald. Emerald? I don't know who that is, but um, they do like really obscure characters that no other brand will touch. And they sell out super quick, so Brett can never get a hold of them, but he loves them. So that's why I think it's really cool that they have a line like this, where you can see that sort of energy 
move into something like this. So I'm really excited to see how this continues and I'm really grateful that they uh, brought these here and allowed me to show them off. Hey guys, so I just realized I was looking through my footage and I didn't film, we were not allowed to film inside, but I had like an hour long meeting with Sunny Days and I love this company, like I love their products and I love what they do. And I realized that I didn't show the products. And of course you guys are familiar with these if you've been watching my channel, but I just wanted to show them again. They are coming out with a bunch of new stuff. I got to see a ton of sneak peeks back there and it was super, super cool. But of course I can't tell you about any of it. <laughs> um, but we've got their Rainbow Ridge Honeybee Acres. We've got the Cutie Lose, more Honeybee Acres. And look how cute they are. I love them, I love them. And there's a new Halloween set coming out, like right now, right now. Uh, and you can see some of the members of that kind of scattered around. They have the cute little costumes on. And then down here, we've got our Fiji friends, which you guys know I love Fiji friends. So right now, of course, you've got your main four characters. They've only got two of them represented here. So you've got Dandelion Wishes and Unicorn Sprinkles here. And then there's Bubba Bubbles and Watermelo. And then right here, we've got the newest character, Fairy Garden. And if you watch my Sweet Sweet vlog, you can see um, Pizza Princess and Ramen Dream. And then also I got to review Ramen Dream. I got to have an early sample of her. So, and this fairy garden looks so good. I'm so excited for fairy garden to come out. I think she's so beautiful. And yeah, really love what they do. They also have like a lot of really fun squishy things. Like it's just a really fun brand and I love them. So, oh, and that was the most satisfying fidget toy in general I've ever encountered, so. <laughs> I really recommend that thing. Hey guys, so I am here with Schilling, who I just found out are the distributors in the US of the Lottie dolls. And if you guys haven't heard of these, they are so, so cute. I used to see them all the time when I lived in Austin. I have a few of them in my collection and I wanted to show them off to you guys. Do, have you guys heard of these? I find these so precious. So they kind of look like they're meant to be nine to 13 year old age range, but they could definitely go for others. Oh my gosh, look at the face on this one. I haven't seen this face before. She's so cute. That is such a precious doll. And they just, they have like really cool themes and the quality of the clothing and the dolls themselves is so good. And by the way, this feels like Japanese saran. Like, I don't know what their hair actually is. I've never found out, but it feels really, really nice. And you can see all the box art. I can't show you the front because it had some information for buyers, not us, like buyers to be able to see wholesalers and stuff. So, um, but the back art, the back card art is just so, so beautiful. And I think even if these aren't for you, I mean, as a collector, I love these. I do have a few. I know you probably haven't seen them because, you know, it's a smaller collection. I love that set, by the way. It's so stinky cute. But I think these are the best dolls to buy for children. Like, they're just perfect. Perfect. These would be my first choice. Um, but they're generally sold in specialty retailers, but you can also get them online. Like, they have them on Amazon, I know. And just look at this one. So pretty, so so sweet. It's just such a sweet doll brand. Reminds me a lot of other wholesome brands. And this one, so so cute. And they just, you know, they're a blank slate. You get to come up with your character as you go. And they're just so so fun. So I was so excited to see them here because again, I just I don't know a whole lot about this brand, and I thought they were super super cool. So yeah, thank you guys so much. I know you're probably gonna be like, Brooke, you say you're a big fan of everything, every weird thing that I've never heard of. Okay, but this is Rody. <laughs> and Rody is, I believe, an Italian brand from 40 years ago. Rody's turning 40, I just learned that. I thought it was a little bit older. And I found out about Rody because when I lived in Austin, they were all over like specialty tour retailers and a bunch of, Japan apparently just really loves Rody and they're like a huge market for them. So a lot, there's a lot of anime collabs with Rody. So that, if you've heard of Rody, I assume if you're not from Italy or something, you've heard of it because of those collabs. But okay, so the idea, I'll tell you what a Rody actually is. So they are these squishy little ride-on toys. So they're really popular with like but I can fit on it too. And I actually use these with pool floaties. I have a few of them. <laughs> um, and they're just so much fun. You can bounce around on them. I just don't want to like do that at Toy Fair. I would, but I just don't want to hurt the product. <laughs> um, but you can see they come in all these fun colors. There's a unicorn one now. That's something I'm not familiar with. So I have this blue one and this green one. The green one, I think is the like, that's, that's Rody. I think that's the one. Anyway, so as we move around, we can see they have all kinds of cool stuff, like these big ones. I want one of these big ones. That's my size. But then over here. So the company that brings Rody to America and gets them to retailers, look what they're planning. So coming soon, these are out of Japan, because again, Japan's such a big market for Rody and they're such big fans of Rody. They have, so because Rody is such a big thing in Japan, they actually, I didn't know this, I wish I did, because I would have been buying these. They have like a merch line over there and look, these plushies so they're trying to see at toy fair right now if they will be like something that they could bring to the u.s and like 
this is what we fell in love with this artwork look at that I would buy a t-shirt I would buy a journal I would buy a pencil anything look at oh my god <laughs> sorry I love road I love road isn't it just so cute? This design is so fun to me because it's so like nostalgic and timeless even if you've never seen it before. It's like almost uncanny like if you're if you're getting that vibe from it kind of like Gumby is where even if you've never seen Gumby before you just look at him and you're like that's timeless. Like I, I it feels familiar even though it's not and that's just how Rody feels to me. I don't know what it is. It's just such a beautiful design and these are to die for. <laughs> They're so soft and sweet and these ones are hanging ones and you've got like big ones of course you've got these huge ones back here and i need to know which ones are your favorites here i think my favorite is this dark blue one i just love like a big plushie too and they're they're ridiculously soft by the way and we got the sea foam one this was the one that brett picked as his favorite so i just had to show these i was like i, I have a doll youtube channel but i have to show them these i have to talk about them so and yeah you got to see a lot of dolls today Check out Rody. What do you think? Do you think this is really cool? I genuinely want to hear from you about Rody because the company that does Gumby did not bring any Gumbies, so we didn't get to talk about Gumbies. So. Anyway, yeah, very cool. Hey guys, so we are here in the Super Impulse booth and I just had to see if we could come in here and share with you guys because if you guys know, I just love the minis and minis and they have a bunch of new ones coming and they said we could share them with you and some of them like the prototypes aren't even here yet they're just showing off like what they have coming so there's some prototypes that are ready so this is the kellogg's one and these are really funny because okay you'd think like yeah this is great for my dolls but what the heck are these imagine if you collect one six scale this and one twelfth scale this like calico critters scale uh your one twelfth bjds like you have for both so let's go for people who collect both. And then you'll see a ton of world smallest as we move around here. And here we have the like toys, all sorts of different toys. You've got your pet rocks, micro toy box, and a lot of them actually function. And I'll show you some similar things later that aren't in these blind packages and are a little bit bigger. The Sonic one is awesome. That's apparently already out. I've never heard of that one and I'm excited about it. This is new too. Hershey's is coming. These are these ones that say new on them are for 2024. So anything that does not have this sticker on it is for 2023, or is already out. And then wacky packages, I want these, I want these, I want these, I want these. And then as we move over, we've got more of the toys. More of the toys, you've got your Garbage Pail Kids minis. This is just so cool, I, the glow one, the best one. So good, and then they've got squishies for like you know those like uh, fidget toy type of things for Care Bears over here. Look at this. So we've got a Malibu Barbie Barbie house here, the Malibu house. They're doing that one in a lot of different ways with different dolls, so you might see them as we move down. And then again, if it has that new tag, it's new. Um, but as we move back, there's actually totally different ones. I have this one. I love that one. You've got your Halloween bear, trick or treat bear, I guess. Uh, oh, look at the Easy Bake Oven. So these would function like perfect size to be an Easy Bake Oven for your one six scale dolls. So, you know, like Barbie, but, and these are prototypes by the way. So one of them seems to have unfortunately broken, but anyway, they are also the perfect size to just be a regular oven for say Calico Critters or something. Calico Critters are on my brain right now. Y'all have to help me get that out of my brain. <laughs> Cause I love them. They're so good. Oh, the glow worm. Always love the glow worm. Just amazing. This brand has so many fun products all the time and I just love seeing what they have. Like more Rainbow Bright, love seeing the love for Rainbow Bright. The functional Stretch Armstrong. So, so good. Wish I could cover all of this in here, but you know, we, there's a lot of toys in this building. <laughs> but these are great. And if there's any of these that y'all are particularly interested in, you want to see a review of, let me know. So I can, I, the Ouija board is a really fun one. And of course you've got Boggle, you've got Battleship, just so much. And I love the Tetris. I think this one's so fun. So not only do you have things that work really well as miniatures for your dolls, but you also have things that are just like functional and fun at a small scale. Like you can genuinely just play this game with your friends and it's so small and fun and cute. It's just Tetris as a board game. Super, super cool. And then, and over here we've got their Barbie stuff. So you see, I saw this. We've got a, I believe that's totally Hair Teresa, but I might be wrong there. And then this was very exciting. This is new and this is a prototype. So this is actually going to have rooted hair is what they told me. And look at the mini sunglasses she has. Like, oh my God, so cool. Oh, there's the, yeah. It says Malibu, but I'm pretty sure that's totally hair. Um, yeah, there's like your super tiny. So I think they just made that one larger and it is actually articulated. Like it's gonna be like this. It's basically gonna be like her, but mini, you know, like the original. 
1959 Barbie, and then you've got your Totally Hair Barbies and your Malibu doll there. And they're also doing Hot Wheels. And then this brand, um, it's interesting. My favorites are the, the Good Luck Trolls. <laughs> I, those are amazing. And they've got Hatsune Miku, which is very, very funny. <laughs> and then over here, you can see like the Sonic one, I think is very popular because I've been seeing that one around. And the Good Luck Troll missing the hair is because you can actually, the thing with these is that you can mix and match them. It's just like real um, Mr. Potato Heads. You can mix and match them. So that's what they're showing with that. Uh, that's why he's missing a headpiece. Uh, and then over here, I was so, so the South Park ones look amazing. Like those look really, really good. Really good. And then, but look at Miku. I love this little figure. Just a very cute, fun, collectible figure. The Yu-Gi-Oh ones apparently have been around. I've never seen them before. Uh, but they are really nice. I don't spend a whole lot of time in that aisle. I like the blue eyes, white dragon. Who's this one? Red eyes, black dragon? Okay. That, that checks out. <laughs> that, uh, that, that tracks. Um, but yeah, they look really good. And then over here, you've got your mini arcade, tiny arcade games, which again, perfectly doll sized for a lot of them. I just need this in one six scale doll size. Like I really need that to happen. Super, super cool. Love this booth. Okay, I've got one more thing to show. And then this area is very popular and it's clear enough so I can share it with you guys. But look, Miku, new, so coming soon. And then I've never gotten to actually see them before, but here are the Monster High ones. These are popular enough that I have never seen them before in my life. Like I know they exist and I've been wanting them, but I just haven't been able to find them. And you've got Sonic too. This one apparently has been out this year and I just had no idea, which is very unusual. I feel like I would have caught on. <laughs> and you've got, you see Frankie Stein over there, you see Orko and What's cool about these is that you can actually unbox them. So there's a little door here that you can unbox them. And then after unboxing them, you can actually put them back in. So it kind of keeps that collectible aspect to it. So you see, I can play with her as my little mini doll, super fun, use her in my photo shoots, whatever I'm doing. And then I can pop her back in here. Oh, well, I'll, yeah, and play with her as an inbox collectible. These are super, super cool. And I know like this isn't Monster High packaging, but this is just how they made it work. And I think it's really, really fun. I think these are super, super cool. So I'll just show you like a quick pan of the full wall. And again, if you see that new sticker, it means that it is new for this year. Actually, these ones, most of them don't seem to have the new sticker, but it means that it's new for 2024. I keep saying 2023 as if it's next year, by the way, guys, I'm not ready for another year. <laughs> um, Transformers and Ninja Turtles, of course, just awesome. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> you guys, so we're here with Jazzwares. Jazzwares has a lot of amazing licenses and different things going on. So obviously, if you don't know, they made Squish Hollows. Yeah. So over here, we have a bunch of Sanrio stuff that they're showing off. So this is for Hello Kitty and Friends line. And the thing I love about Hello Kitty and Friends line as a license, you never see Choco Cat, but in Hello Kitty and Friends, Choco Cat is a character. So generally, you'll start seeing him. Look at this. I don't think there is a human being on the planet that if you got this for them as a gift, they would be mad. Like they would not like it. This is so darling. Oh, and they come out. They have, and it's buttons, so you can put them back. This is so cute. And then we've got our squishies here. So there's Tuxedo Sam. And it's a slow rise. Love it. Is that, is that his name? I'm always paranoid that I'm not doing it right. And there's all the characters. Karapi's here. I'm starting to see Karapi lose steam like in America. I don't see as much merch of him anymore and that's unacceptable. Fix it. Anyway. His giant face is behind you as you say that. <laughs> but notice there's one plushie. That's all I'm saying. Look at these pink friends here. So these are actually the samples. So that's kind of cool. So they might change. That's cool. Um, but look at Cinema Roll. I like Cinema Roll in pink. That's really fun. And then we of course have a Melody and Karomi. It seems like Jazzwares figured out that Karomi's good one to do. And then we've got these guys who look like I guess they're supposed to be younger or something or maybe this is some kind of fashion they're supposed to be doing. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, but the Karapi and Hello Kitty and you've got these like weird big sleeping ones. They're very cute. They remind me of a lot of, oh, very unique. It feels like a very soft carpet. Very interesting. Very soft and cute. Um, and it says these are for spring 2024. So very soon. You would expect a lot of spring 2024 stuff at Toy Fair. And over here we have Squishmallows area. I know very little about Squishmallows, so I'm not going to know what's new or what, but they're just really cute and fun, you know? Um, so, got your dragon, ketchup, platypus, just a lot of fun. And we got to sit in the sleigh, which I guess I'll sit in alone, because... 
So they're selling the. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, you can just pick this up at Walmart. It's ten dollars. But like, isn't this? So imagine making your own things, right? Like everybody has a sleigh handy. This rocks, and I'm not leaving. They they were like, come on in. We'd love to have you in here. And I was like, okay, I'm moving in. I will be imposing. Anyway. Oh, my legs. <laughs> oh, I love him. Do you like the eagle one? Yeah. I love them. I just love the artwork. It's so nice. And then over here, we've got our bum bum. So I actually didn't realize this was jazz wares. <laughs> um, but just, you know, hanging out. The giant fireplace plushie oh is amazing. <laughs> You'd never think of that. When I was a kid, we didn't have a fireplace at one of my houses when I was really, really young, and they wanted to do the Santa thing. But you know, Santa's always like comes down the chimney, so they made me a big cardboard chimney so that we could have that. Uh, so that's what that reminds me of. I don't know if that's an actual product. I assume that's a display, but that would actually be so cute. <laughs> Although, like, wouldn't that be kind of grotesque? Like Santa coming out of this like living chimney front. Whatever. Moving on. <laughs> we have. Of course, you got some Christmas ones. I like the Yeti. I always love Yeti stuff. You see a lot of Sasquatch, but Yeti's kind of unusual. Over here, so I just thought we got wrestling, Star Wars, whatever. Pokemon is where we're going. These are pretty cool. I don't know anything about the Roblox game, but they're pretty cool. Oh, wait. Is this a Dodo? Is this an alligator one? They're cute. They are cute. Oh, my God. I think that's supposed to be a Dilophosaurus. I don't know. Um, but these kind of rule, so. Okay, and then over here, this, I didn't, did you know about Piplup? What about him? That there's a Swishmill? Yeah. I didn't know it was that big. But. Oh, this is a lot tougher than our Togepi, but maybe it's because it's a sample. Um, well, this is gonna be a smaller Piplup, I'm sure. Um, but we never found, we never even saw these in the stores. Like, these are so hard to get, but we have the giant Togepi. I found him randomly and he was dirty and he was on the floor like, cause clearly somebody was gonna get him and didn't or he was a return or something. And I'm so grateful that I got him. Oh, Fuey Coco. Yeah. Darimaka is a weird one. Mm -hmm. That Wait, Darimaka the little one? Yeah, that's him. Are you sure? Well, who's that's the big one? Darmanitan. Okay, right, Darmanitan. I right. was close. <laughs> well, I just needed the reminder. So clearly you knew better than me cause you didn't need a reminder. Oh, you, you saw the ad for this. Yeah, Pecha Berry. Pecha Berry. So it looks like you, it's not on, but there's some kind of fun feature with that. You've got Flygon. I really like that Jazzwares does like a lot of other Pokemon other than like, you know, your starters and stuff. Like, why is there a Dar Darumaka plushie? I don't know, but it's great. And then, yeah, those is are super a friend cool. ball? I don't know, actually, off the top of my head. I see a Safari ball, or is that a nest ball? I think top? that's a friend ball. This is a nest ball, and then this is one of the GS balls, yeah, right? Yeah, it's a friend ball. Oh, the think. golden silver balls. GS ball is its own thing. I think so. It's cool. You like that? More obscure. That's a really weird one to choose because this is I never don't think marketed. It's a level. I think it's a friend. I'm not quite sure. That's not level. No, no, no. I know level ball. That's not it. Watch it be. <laughs> and then Dreams. we've got this. You like the corduroy? And this is sparkly too. I hate how these feel, but they're very pretty. <laughs> and then the corduroy will be kind of. I like corduroy plushies. Do you like how they feel, or do you just like how they look? I like both. Do you like that Jigglypuff's awesome? Also, they're just really different. Like. Yeah, I love the sparkly figures too. I wish they were shiny and shiny. You know what I'm saying? Oh, look at that. Yeah, translucent. Um, yes, think about it. Like, if they were sparkly like this, but that was a shiny Pokemon, that would be great. Um, these, I keep seeing at the store, they rule. They're these amazing little dioramas that also come with your Tomy. Oh, he's got his... Hands out. Yeah. Um, that come with the figures, too. So it's a, just a fun way to get the figures and also have a really cool display case. And it has extra spots for other figures that you can add to it. And there's a bunch of these. I've been seeing these at Target. Um, I think it was Target. I think we saw them at GameStop too. They're really cool. They're really cool. I'm very tempted by those because the quality of the, like, room or whatever it is, like the environment that they have is really impressive and really nice. Um, they're just super, super cool. And I just love Pokemon. Um, this, oh, oh, that is lovely. We got Christmas too. Wait, why are you in the back? You were the best one. Hello. They're friends. Yeah. Uh, they were stuck together a bit. <laughs> um, okay, here, this is the new advent calendar for this year. So this is spoiler, don't look. Uh, Cyndaquil, Meryl, Rockruff, Pichu with a little Santa hat. You like that one? Mm -hmm. We're gonna need this one. Um, and then you've got your Chikorita, your uh, Charmander, Totodile, your Pikachu, Rowlet, Applin is the little one, Marie, Geodude, and Shinx. Yeah. 
I know Pokemon. Okay. But like, this is really fun. See, I thought, oh, this is a different one. See, yeah, that's what I thought. There's another one. So this one has Alcremi, um, I thought it had Rabu. Yeah, it has these bigger figures too. So this one is different. I wonder what, I wish there was more info in this booth, but pretty cool. I think one of the bigger ones in this set up here is actually Geodude. So that's kind of, that's a cool figure though. Um, but these all have that shiny finish too. And you can see, oh, Vanel Light? Yeah, sure. Um, Vanel Lux is the big one. Vanel is what I call it. Okay. And Swinub and um, Snow Run are really cool to see because they're both, he's Gen 3, Gen 2? He's a weird one. He's Gen 3, I think. Yeah, he is. And then he's Gen 2. I think. Yes. Um, but like, there's some really cool picks in here that, of course, these are very wintry, but you don't really see them because for some reason we're like, okay, let's just, I mean, I get why they do it, but like, let's release the Gen 1 starters again, but this time they're the Santa hats on, sure. Um, but I saw this at Target like the other day and I'm very tempted to get it because it's really nice. It's a really cool set. And um, yeah, okay, is that Fort That's a really cool looking display. I don't care about Fortnite or whatever that is, but yes, that's the battle bus. It looks so cool. Oh, they're all dropping? Is this not the coolest display? They're all dropping off. Hop off the battle bus. Where's Nicki Minaj? Where's Ariana? Where's Goku? Where's uh, Mr. Beast? Jimmy Beast? There's a lot of figures, Jesus. Are these all like completely different figures? Oh my God. It's a big line. I've never even seen these before. This is a really, really yeah. cool display. A lot. Imagine having it set up like this in your house. All this is cool. This is Axel little guy. Neat. Yeah, I recognize some of them. Like the banana guy. This is guy. Um, ghost? Right? The other guy? I don't know. I guess Brett doesn't know either. Um, so yeah, that's uh, what we're looking at with Jazz. Where, oh no! That's how, he, that's how he takes down the ad as he goes mm -hmm. around it. And, yep. Oh, you've seen that movie. I have. Look at the smoke. Obviously, that's Spoiler. just that's the display, but that's really cool. Oh, these are great because you have the mini land speeders too. I don't think that's what, these are probably called snow speeders or something. Oh, this is such a cool display. I love this. So these are for the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. Is that, is that true? Oh my God. <laughs> it's like 76, right? Yeah. Wow. Um, pretty cool. And it says these are fall 23, so they should already be around. Pretty cool. All right. That's Jazzwares. Love it. Oh, turn around. There's a situation. Two uh, goats. Meeting of the mind. Two goats. I don't think he goes in this booth. I think they would just like get in here. Or maybe he goes, does he go with Amazing Friends actually? I think he does. I don't remember. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> Hi guys. So we are here at the Loyal Subjects booth. I'm so excited. This booth has been so busy all day that they have not been able to let us in. And we're finally here. So clearly these are super popular. I'm so excited. So as you can see, we started over here in the Rainbow Bright area. Between Strawberry Shortcake and Rainbow Bright, it is hard for me to pick a favorite, but Strawberry Shortcake has been around more, you know, there's been more series and stuff, and Rainbow Bright hasn't. So I'm always really partial to Rainbow Bright because of that, but I don't know which series I like better. But anyway, as you can see, the lines that we saw, or all the lineups that we saw at Sweet Sweet are fully expanded here, and we're getting to see all the products. You can see all these different characters. So we've got Stormy, we've got Rainbow Bright, we've got, is her name just Indigo? I don't remember. Um, Tickle Pink, of course. Um, but we've got all sorts of them. And not all of these are finalized. Like, a lot of this stuff isn't. Um, and most of this stuff that we're seeing here is spring 2024. It could change a little bit. That's what they're aiming for. And these just rock. They're so beautiful. They're so, so cool. And over here, you can see, look at these displays, by the way. I love this specific artwork. It's so cute. And you've got your larger dolls, too. Oh, cool. Her name is Indigo. Score. <laughs> um, just really soft, beautiful, well packaged, super, super friendly. And I just love Rainbow Bright. I think this is so much fun. Now we're here with Strawberry Shortcake, and we're starting off on not as interesting of a side for me, but they're super cute. So you can see that we have this very classic looking ragdoll Strawberry Shortcake. So, so cute. And I love the artwork. I just, Strawberry Shortcake's artwork, like the original card, is just so darling. And then we've got this updated version that they're going to be releasing a little bit later. So this is actually fall of 2023, so this should be coming out soon. And then as we move over, we're starting to see like spring to fall 2024. Not all of these have a confirmed release date yet, but they're working on it, you know. So here we have the Berry Bake Shop play set, or Tiende de Pasteles de Bayas. Um, and it's just a fantastic play set. And the regular dolls like these that you're seeing are in the $20-ish price point. We're not 100% sure yet. Um, and they're still working on it. Obviously, the retailers are going to help come up with that. So you can see that this will be like maybe a $10 to $15 price difference because it's a big play set. Um, that's all I can say right now. Um, but I just love these. And look, these are actually the prototypes. So if you look closely, the material is not final. 
and it's just really cool to see. And if you didn't know, these dolls have so much articulation. Like, look at this. And I can't even show it all. Like, they said there's like this ridiculous amount of articulation points, and I believe them. They're not gonna false advertise, you know? Um, but they're just so cool. And you can see that prototype. There's like a little bit of paint coming up there on the neck. Um, sorry, I just, I love prototypes, so I love to see stuff like that. Um, but the final product will not be made like this. She'll be vinyl, of course. Very, very cool. And then over here, we've got the World of Strawberry Shortcake Carry and Go playset. So as you can see, if we look at the back of this playset, it looks, actually, it looks like one of the more, like, r relatively recent series, huh? Um, I did ask about recent Strawberry Shortcake series, and the people in this booth weren't really sure if that was something that they were um, going to be able to do. It has to do with licensing. Like, this is a completely different license than, say, Barry in the Big City. But I put the, I put it in their ear, you know? I, I asked them about it. And you can see there's all kinds of fun stuff in this place. Hey, you get Live Chiffon, Orange Blossom, and, of course, Strawberry. And the cat, whose name I never remember, but it's probably something super obvious. And I will be very embarrassed when I find out. But I love the cat figure. That's my favorite part. And it Sorry, I'm being like, so everything's glued down right now because this is Toy Fair and it's like a prototype and everything. But did I do that with the table or was it already like that? Um, it got stuck in the door. Oh no. There we go. Um, there's a lot of really fun accessories in here. It looks super, super fun. I want to get the strawberry shortcake. Does, do you think she gets like really confused? Because she's always eating and making strawberry shortcakes with her friends and then like, is her name? I don't know. Anyway, that's really, really cute. And then here you can see how just gorgeous the displays are here. <laughs> and here this is what I'm here for oh my god these are amazing so you can see all of the dolls for I guess wave one have arrived so we've got plum pudding we've got strawberry we've got orange blossom we've got um, blueberry muffin I, oh that is plum pudding I thought that was blueberry muffin yeah okay uh, blueberry muffins over here with these so cute and you can see they have mystery surprises so this is that thermos lunch box which you super popular collectors love those um and you've got your strawberry shortcake orange blossom doesn't have her accessory it probably got moved at some point today you've got blueberry muffin with a blueberry muffin and a purse so they all come with like several accessories and it says they have 29 points of articulation we're really gonna have to put that to the test and this is what the packaging looks like for now could change and these again spring or summer 24 maybe into fall but i doubt it because these have been being shown for a while you can see on her box and raspberry or raspberry tart sorry is one that we haven't seen i think she was not even on the packaging for the old ones right i'm not sure but she rocks she rocks and then these figures i believe these are actually hitting stores now is that what she had said something like that these are coming very soon or they're in stores now these were for fall of 2023 so these are called chi b as in they're chibi and they're just little very cute strawberry shortcake collectible figures and if you noticed in that dollhouse that we saw earlier saw earlier it's pretty similar to that and apple dumplings here so you can see they have a lot of characters that they're working with and here little cute clip plushies just very cute very very cute see strawberry and lemon a good angle yeah and then over here, they called these pudding cups. Uh, I guess that's what the packaging is called. They don't come with pudding, but what they do come with is even better, these. So the glittery ones are kind of your like variants and then you have some non-glittery ones. I wonder if Purple Pie Man comes glittery, I hope so. And look at Kitty. Oh, the, the eyes are glittery. Wow, super cute. I, I really like these, the design of these. These were your favorite thing you saw? Mm -hmm. The design of these is incredible. Look at her, who is that? Like actually, who is that? I actually do not recognize that character, weird. Maybe like a peach one? Anyway, if I saw the original doll, I'd probably be like, oh. Uh, and then you've got these. It's very cute plushies. And orange blossom back here. It's interesting, there's a lot of double packing of lemon meringue. I don't know if that's on purpose or if that's just for the show. Uh, and then with these, the little figures come like this in our mystery package, but you can also get the glitter edition to get the glitter figures in here. That was kind of the idea that she was saying. Of course, that could change by the time these release, but the 20 different figures, I suspect there's 10 different ones, and then there's 10 glittery versions. And then it says there's eight glitter figures in there, so I don't really know. We'll see once they release, but these are super darling. And you can see Apple Dumplin, this guy, I don't recognize, Purple Pie Man. I love that he's included. It's really funny. I'm going to move out of the way so you don't get the shadow. Um, you can see all those. So cute! All right, now got my eye from the prize. 40th anniversary Rainbow Bright Dolls area. Yay! So we got a little bit out of order, but check these out. So it looks like they're the micro figures are the similar idea here, except these don't have the glitter variants. But look, you've got the sprites, you've got the horses, and like oh my God, 
gosh, these are so fun. Patio green here. So, so cute. Oh, this is, you don't go here. You're not supposed to be here. I'll set her aside and let them know. Um, but then you've got the plushies here. Super, super fun. Oh, they didn't change his name. I was very curious about that. Um, yeah, see, you didn't believe me. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and then you've got these clips. Very cute. And the figures, again, similar to Strawberry Shortcake. So you can see there's a lot of mirrors between what they're doing with Strawberry Shortcake and what they're doing with the Rainbow Bright stuff. And you can see all sorts of fun characters. Ooh, Red Butler, you don't see him very much. There he is. Um, and you can also see that he's included on this artwork, but I don't see the figure here, but he'll probably be part of that. Just, I needed all of her, like, stat. Anyways, then, as we move along, we can see the dolls. These are my favorite part. So I was just thinking about this. I never thought about her design. Indigo's like, why are her toes out? Like, why you got your dogs out? They're all, like, space themed. They are wearing, like, space suits. Put those dogs away. Anyway, <laughs> so <laughs> we've got Indigo. We've got the orange one I'm biking on. Patio Green, Tickle Pink, Stormy, Rainbow Bright. And I don't remember her name, but she's gorgeous. I just wish I knew her name. But yeah, she's probably one of my favorite ones out of this set. Actually, she looks amazing. And these are similar to the Strawberry Shortcake ones where they come with different accessories and stuff. And yeah, these walk. I'm so excited for this to release. And same situation as the Strawberry Shortcake ones. They'll be hitting around spring 2023. Yeah. Rolling through you know I need Nintendo Dream because I mentioned Pikmin, but I just stumbled onto this field of Hedoras. Millennium Godzilla's and Mecha Godzilla's, so like. Oh! And the legendary Ghidorah. Wow. And this is incredible. You never find these in the US and they're $20 each. So. It's day four of Toy Fair. It's the last day. We're not going to get to be here for the full day, but we're going to be hitting a bunch of other booths. So I don't know how much actual video footage y'all are going to get today, um, but I'm going to be getting a lot more really good photos. Yeah, TikToks, because I forgot to film short videos while I was at all of these, and I want to make sure I have, like, nice special ones for you guys, so I'll uh, probably be seeing a lot of YouTube shorts from today, um, and right now we're going to go see the Loyal Subjects, because I can't stay away, and I forgot to get their business card yesterday, so let's go, and then we fly home. Uh, I'm not ready, because we have to drive home from Atlanta, too. I'm here with Dotsies and I'm really glad I got to stop by and see them because I've never gotten to do one of these diamond art kits before and I've always been curious how they look in person and they look really cool just that extra texture really makes them pop and I wanted to come over here because in the Toy Fair app they had a special little ad that was showing off the My Little Pony ones and you know I love My Little Pony and I love that we've got G5 and G1 represented because usually it's going to be one or the other just look how cute this looks and they've got a bunch of other brands too including secret ones that I can't tell you about but you guys would freak out and I'm sure they'll be coming out soon and these have little kits that are just quicker and don't take up as much space as say the canvases i specifically like these little ones from the kits i think those are really really fun but when you get the big ones that's where you get like the full detail and these are so so cool so yeah these are dotsies and these are shipping now so they should be showing up in stores relatively soon and the other designs i will try to keep track and let you guys know. sure you guys have heard of them but i had to come by the pip sticks booth because these are super super cool so you can see here we've got pixie gems and over here look 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 look, look. so pip sticks is basically just like a sticker brand and they do these big boxes that they'll send to you every month and stuff and i've been super interested in them i've had them a few times because my friends have sent me some of their extras and i think they're so cute Really love all these designs. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, and they just happen to be a toy fair. And look at the washi tape. I'm just really impressed by the washi tape displays that are all so cute. You can see beautiful mandala pattern to these. And of course some sticker books. And look at this. Oh, that's the best one. Yeah, that's the best one. Yeah. And then over here, look at this. There's a whole Care Bears collaboration. I'm loving how many Care Bears collabs we're getting. So you can see there's the mandala one and you've got your little um note set it's just so cute i love that these go beyond just stickers you get all sorts of stationery okay yeah these are the best this is super cool okay the, i love them i love it perfect little notepad so so cute and it goes further a collection binder for your sticker lovers 
so many sticker books, so much fun stuff. So, yeah, I was really glad I could come by. Those hey, are awesome. Grimoire. Transform. Hey, Grimlock. Flame up? Flame out. Flame out. <laughs> he hates hey, Grimlock. Flame out. This is the... I think this is the coolest toy I've ever seen in my life. Um, it's for all your dads out there. It's $1,700. This is, I can't believe it transforms and in both directions still looks so good. Cause you know, when you get the transforming little ones they're made, but it's like where you have to do it physically, like manually. And I was always really bad at that. I was always scared I was gonna break them. This is so seamless and it does it automatically. And like, just look up close at how good this looks. Unreal. And these are made by a company called RoboSed. And there's also an Optimus Prime one that looks pretty cool. Hi guys, I'm here with Ro Life. And if you haven't heard of these, look at these. They are amazing. And you guys know about Kika Goods, I'm always talking about them. They actually sell these. So that's uh, one source that you can get them. And they're just these incredible model sets that are just so realistic and detailed. And when you see what they're actually priced at, like there's no prices on these right now, but the prices on them are like really reasonable for what they are and I just find these so incredible every time I stumble upon them on the internet or at some kind of hobby store I'm always completely blown away they also sell these at stores like uh Kinokuniya I believe I see them there Tiso Life has them it's just amazing look at that just beautiful beautiful and we've got a couple down here look at this one this office coffee shop I am loving like patio situation here and these are a little small for most dolls that you guys are probably used to but i think they would work really well for your 112th scale it's a little bit smaller than 112 scale but i think it would work for some photography or for some display this is amazing wow i like the two parters <laughs> super cool and i also love that they're showing like you can combine them together and make a full thing you see that they're kind of modular you see the little stack so incredible I just I really love them they also have a lot of other really cool stuff but I know you guys are more interested in this stuff hi guys so I'm here with nebulous stars and if you guys remember my vlog from Dallas Toy Fair I saw these it was one of the first things in the vlog I think and I just love them and it's been a year later and we get to see what they've got now so Isadora is now an actual doll that you can buy she's not just shown there so that is pretty cool so this is their newest character in the doll line and as you can see now there's four characters so they release dolls very slowly because they um, build up the characters a lot and I find them really cool I know they're not for everyone but I think the designs are so beautiful and just the artwork is mind-blowingly gorgeous like it's one of my favorite doll line artworks I've ever seen it's just so so pretty such as in this beautiful store display and then of course we've got Nebulia. Nebulia? Nebulia? <laughs> um, and oh, her box doesn't have the others on the back, but she's very pretty too. I think she might've been the first one. And then they also have these plushies, which they didn't have these in Dallas. And they are really, really cute. These are apparently already a thing they've been around, but they just didn't bring them to Dallas. But I love their big eyes. I think these are super, super cute. And some of them are really fantasy strange creatures. I think this is supposed to be an octopus of some sort but then like this is a hermit crab and they've got this new product here that is supposed to be for a holiday of this year which you get to create your own little message for your friend that they get to hatch out and it's really really fun i got a little demonstration super super cute over here you can see some more really cute store displays by the way um you've got just um nebula stars isn't just about the dolls you also get a lot of merchandise that goes with them it's honestly mainly about the merchandise and that's really cool because the artwork is just so stunning like again here you can see one of the beautiful characters. There's also stories associated with them. And look at like little wallets and, oh, these are great. These are fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. And as we move down, you can see more little craft sets and things. This looks super fun. You get to create a bunch of different things in this big set. 
over here, imagine I had this in my home, just in the middle of my doll room, just all my dolls inside, it's so beautiful. Um, but we've got like this owl, so, so sweet. I wanna see if this kitty's around here somewhere. Yeah, I think maybe that's who this is. I don't know. Aren't they gorgeous though? So just, let's do like a pan around and just get a take. I don't think we'd be able to cover all this stuff because there's just so much this. It's beautiful. Just, isn't it just such stunning artwork? I just can't get over it. Every time I see it again, I'm always just so refreshed. I love each level of the store display too. And they're here at New York Toy Fair hoping to have some more expansion into the U.S. They're already available online in the U.S., but, you know, more. Let's see more. So hopefully in the next year we'll be able to see these come around. These really, really rock. Again, these are available on, um, like, on online retailers, you know. Oh, how cool. I think you get to do the outfit on that one. And then it's also a notebook. It's just so, so cute. So I always love seeing these. Nebula stars. I wish I looked like that, like my, like everything about that, like the watercolor style and everything. I'm working on it. We'll get there. Here with Entertainment Earth, this is their distributors. They showed up to Toy Fair, and I wanted to stop by because you guys know I'm an, I'm an Entertainment Earth partner, and I really, really love them. And also, this gives me a chance to show off some Monster High stuff at Toy Fair, including the Neon Fright Tour line. I know she's like kind of out, kind of not, but look, it's me. Oh, it's a packaging sample. Oh, that's cool. I was wondering why she felt weird and like, so the doll's not in here, I guess, but like, I should have noticed that, huh? The giant FBL on the front. But that's so cool. And then, of course, we've got Holiday, but I'm paranoid, like, I want to see if all of them are FBS. But there is Holiday Claudine. I'm really excited about her. I really hope mine comes soon. And then we've got Fancy Laguna, which is the Entertainment Earth exclusive one. So if you guys um, are looking for any of these and you want to help support my channel, I'm a, I'm a partner, I'm an affiliate with them, so I can put the link in the description and it gets you guys um, a couple of things. I'll have it in the description what it is exactly because sometimes it changes and I don't want to say it like concretely in a video. And if we just look around, all kinds of stuff. They also sell Barbie stuff. And the main thing that you're going to want to be shopping for on Entertainment Earth other than like the doll stuff that you see is going to be like merchandise, cool stuff like that. A lot of, like if you like any kind of property that is more traditionally liked by like men, Entertainment Earth has it. They've been expanding into dolls more which is why I'm one of their whole partners. So you can see they've got like really nice pins and of course transformers lots of transformers it's on grimlock somewhere ready to go well this is a dinobot that's sludge so. one of my buddies got picked love them so i'm not going to show the whole booth because it's a lot of stuff that's already on shelves but pretty cool i'm here with alpha group and we're going to be doing an invader infinity nato battle so here we go <laughs> oh that one's lighting up <laughs> yeah it was nice keeping track oh that's amazing i actually mine's the one that's not lighting up okay. so Good. yeah <laughs> it's a standoff oh, oh no oh. get him oh oh oh, oh. Good. I, win. Yeah. Yeah. I mean mine's pretty cool looking. the second half. they actually have metal like this is die cast i yeah. think yeah you can try with that <laughs> even this one Let's okay do. what do we got here yeah this one this looks evil yeah, so we got a dragon. Yeah, yeah, lights. Oh. oh, that's how you turn on the light? Oh, okay. Oh, Maybe I'm it's sorry. out of battery? Yeah, 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 no, it's okay. So this one yeah. should light up. Let's check it out. Ooh, I think it's ready. Oh, we should start at the same time. Okay, ready? Okay, go ahead. Go. Uh, oh, 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 well, mine didn't really get stuck. Oh, well, yours got stuck. Yeah. <laughs> All right, take two. You know, sometimes you got to have a good second shot. Let's okay. go, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I messed that up. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> to the bitter end. Yeah, yeah it's mine. Go. Mine lost. Oh! Here you go. Oh, it's that was a, a, that's a draw. Ooh. These are really nice. I love you the metal. Try? Check this out, you guys. Playmobil figures. I had no idea about these. These are so, so cool. So, I am really excited because I'm noticing here, look, this, what is her name? Nadia Shamuk or something. That's the newscaster lady. Um, and these playsets are really, really awesome. And you guys know. I love Miraculous, and it's really exciting to see more Miraculous stuff coming out from US brands or just in the US in general. There's, I totally forgot her name. A Manon, maybe? That oh, Marinette's room looks amazing. And that's really cool. They're including a lot of characters from the early season. It's really funny, actually, that they're doing a lot of stuff from early seasons. And there's Marinette, and as you can see, they look a little rough, and that seems to be because 
They are prototypes, there's Alia. Or Rina Rouge, puppeteer. So I think that's Manon, I don't remember. That was a long time ago. Carapace. We've got Chloe as Ladybug, that's a cool one. That is a cool one. And then of course we've got Hawk Moth. And this display is super, super cool. You can see. And then I heard about these back in March at the Play Date. Watch Play Date not have been in March. I don't know, around that time of year. And I was really excited about them, but I wasn't able to say. And it was either these or the unicorn stuff. I don't remember <laughs> 100%. But it was just this really cool fantasy theme. And it looks like these are coming soon. They shouldn't be out yet because they have work in progress tags on them. Uh, but look at these mermaids. They look so good. And I love all the different sea life. Like, look at them color changing octopus oh look at the little lobster and the eels brett this is a veterinarian oh my god i need that <laughs> that is so cute we've got some mermaid kids with these cute jellyfish and a mermaid with seashells these are super cool and then over here i mean they have all kinds of really awesome sets like oh well yeah that's cool look at that house with the cat characters yeah in the horse world Let's go to horse land. I can't sing right now, or just in general. Worse now. <laughs> Super cool. So these are horses of waterfall, and it looks like these are also not out yet. And then you see the Princess Magic stuff over there. That's what I'm trying to show you. We have to go over here to actually see them. Look at this. So these, I specifically remember seeing this at Playdate, not the toy, just like a little picture of it, but they said it was a secret, so I couldn't tell you guys. Uh, but I was so excited. Cause check this out. Like, what is this? It's glorious. We got baby cloud in the clouds. These are so cool. Oh, the glider's great. Honestly, I think I like the mermaid stuff better, but this particular playset looks so, so fun. And these can almost fit one twelfth other toys, if you're wondering. And then we'll just show really quickly some of the other stuff they've got going on. A lot of really cool stuff from Playmobil. I really love Playmobil. I'm a little bit partial to them. I had a few as a kid, not a lot, and I thought they were so, so fun. We had a prison, a really cool working train. Did you have a Playmobil prison? That's what we had. <laughs> and it came with like the canines and like, it was really weird. Um, but the train was our favorite. We played with it all the time with our Pokemon and stuff. Um, but yeah, these kind of rule. Super cool. I forgot to film any kind of outro while I was in New York, so I'll do a really quick one here. I'm not gonna do like a 20 minute outro of me pouring my feelings out about this because I think you guys probably know what I'm gonna say um, and because this video is just so long. So this is the end of my New York Toy Fair vlogs. Today was days, well, today's video was days three and four. So day three was actually a lot of footage, but day four was actually very little footage. So I just decided to combine them made more sense that way and this was the probably coolest thing I've ever gotten to do it was so amazing I really hope that I have more opportunities like this I really really love dolls and toys and I've been doing this for 10 years I've never had these opportunities until like last year you know or two years ago I guess so this is truly I have a passion for this I love it so much and I've been working towards this for so long so it just feels amazing to finally like be there where I have made it in my own way I don't know um it's just really cool to meet the people who are a part of the process be part of the process in a way by being part of like the advertising or the press or whatever and to meet so many cool people who are also passionate about toys but are in the, in the industry or meeting people who are not in the industry that are just doll collectors or doll enthusiasts or my friends from online you know stuff like that so this experience has been so incredible that was definitely the most exhausted I've ever been in my entire life at the end of every single one of those days but it was so worth it every moment of that was so worth it and I hope I continue to have cool opportunities like this and when I do I will continue to share them with you guys because I it's just so cool I definitely learned a lot I realized I did not take enough photos I didn't take enough short videos I wish that I had gone back and taken like really detailed short videos and short photos and stuff or in photos of like everything I did it for a couple booths but um it's just such a whirlwind that it's hard to think in the moment okay I need YouTube video I need short I need photos I need you know so 
definitely next time I'm going to plan ahead and uh, really, really focus and sit down and make sure I get all of those things. But I feel like I did a decent job. I covered a lot of stuff and I got to meet a ton of people, all of the networking. And I'm excited if really any of these relationships that I've built at Toy Fair with these companies pan out at all. And I get to show you cool products at all and work with these companies. Because for me, ultimately, I just love toys and dolls so much. This isn't my whole livelihood, right? I have a master's degree. I work in a museum. Like, completely removed from this. <laughs> um, this is my hobby, but I really, really love to like see what's going on and be part of what's going on and meet the people who are behind it. And that's something that's so special to me. So it's really, really exciting to have opportunities like this. And thank you so much for supporting what I do on social media, my, my YouTube channel, my Instagram, whatever. Um, it's the reason that I get to be here. No matter how hard I work, if people don't care and don't watch anything it amounts to nothing basically so it, it means a whole lot to me and uh, I'm not again I'm not gonna go on forever and I'm not gonna cry so yeah uh the next videos that you can expect about New York Toy Fair before we stop with the Toy Fair videos and move on and get back to regularly scheduled content and oh my god we've got a lot of regularly scheduled content to catch up on you guys will be seeing a highlights video and a doll exclusive video well I think the highlights video will be mostly dolls, so I'll probably just do the highlights video as its own thing and go from there. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the Toy Fair coverage. If there's anything you think I should do differently, please be nice about it. Please understand that everything was such a whirlwind. And sometimes if you're like, why didn't you spend more time in this booth? It's because I couldn't. Like, I would spend two hours in each booth if I could, you know. Uh, the reason I got so many good photos and videos in Sepia's booth, for example, is because, well... On one day, we were rushed out because there were so many buyers, and then on another day, we spent, like, a lot of time in there, and that's how I got all my photos and my, um, no, just the photos, um, that I had later, and then the loyal subjects, they really let me spend, like, a lot of time in their booth, and they were really cool about it, and they talked to me a lot, um, things that I can't share with you guys, but y'all are going to be very excited to see what, uh, I didn't really ask that much about the Rainbow Bright line, but with the Strawberry Shortcake line, I asked a lot of questions, and I think you guys will be excited. It's funny, because I'm, I think I'm more excited for the Rainbow Bright stuff, but I had way more to ask and way more to talk about with strawberry shortcake um this was super super cool super cool and yeah just let me know i'll continue to do events like this unfortunately there's no toy fair next year for some reason toy fair is normally in february but they moved it to october this year and they're moving it back to february but they're not going to do february 2024 they're going to do february 2025 and then 2026 is going to be like in another state not new york there's a whole lot going on with toy fair but any events that i can get into and cover i will do it and um, there's like exciting prospects, I think, that could pan out um, that are separate from Toy Fair involving some of these companies that I think I'll be able to do exciting content with, hopefully. We'll see. We will see. I will be here to update you and post videos every single day. So yeah, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I'm going to go get my much needed rest. Bye. <laughs>